More of the Ray Thomas Variety Show is coming up. BroncoRadio.com, keeping you in the know and informed. Keeping you in the know and informed. The Rochelle Woye Scholarship Foundation has been doing many great things in our community. Last Christmas, they had a Christmas toy giveaway here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. They also took part in family game night at McDonald's. They awarded a student here at Fayetteville State University a $500 textbook scholarship for the 2017-2018 school year. To learn more about the Rochelle Woye Scholarship Foundation, please call their number at 704-281-2070. That's 704 704- Four two eight one two zero seven zero. Visit them online at www.rochellewsf.com. BroncoIRadio.com, and we are proud to be BroncoIRadio.com, where every second of the day an artist is live. live. Monday through Friday nights from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. It's I love nighttime is the right time for you to relax during the smoothest show on the radio. Enjoy your favorite neo soul. Your weeknights will be filled with love during I Love. Only on BroncoIRadio.com, we're proud to be. Do you need a custom cake or just want to satisfy your sweet tooth? Well, look no further because Buttercream Dreams Bakery is the place to get it. Butter, butter, Buttercream Dreams Bakery. Sasha Collins is the passionate baker who takes pride in your satisfaction. Whether it's birthdays, baby showers, or simple gatherings, Buttercream Dreams Bakery is the place for you. And today, she's offering our BroncoIRadio.com listeners 10% off of your first order. Just let her know that you're one of Ray Thomas's global peeps and you get 10% off your first order. I'm Ray Thomas and I approve this message. To place your order, call Sasha Collins at 901-315-8556. That's 901-315-8556 or email her at I want buttercream dreams at gmail.com. Butter, 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 dreams bakery. 901-315-8556. That's 901-315-8556. Butter, 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 Dreams Bakery. Now, back to the Ray Thomas Variety Show. Yep, you hear the theme music, you see her head is bopping. That means it's time for In Your Face and In Your Air. The doctor is in the building. You think it's a game? You think it's a game? You see this, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> they got a ticket to the gun show. No. Oh, really? oh Actually, it was more the dresser one. Oh, wow. The dresser one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In Your Face and In Your Ear. She is Dr. Patrice J. Carter. What does the J stand for? We've already talked about Jacinda? this. Is it no, Jacinda? It is not. Jaquella? It's, it's Janelle. Jamanda? It's Janelle. Jemima. J-A-U-N-E-L-L-E. Joanne. Janelle. Ignoring Ray. Jaquetta. <laughs> Jerusalem. Stop. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Journey. <laughs> Gestation. No. <laughs> okay. That's with a G. Oh, And it's sorry. not gestation. It's gestation. <laughs> well, I just changed this to Rayism. Welcome to my world. Mm-hmm. The power of the Ray. I want to get out of here. <laughs> get out of my world. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. welcome to uh, In Your Face and In Your Air. Yes, and, uh, welcome, guys. By the way, she is part of a Breakpoint Coaching Collective. Yes. Yes, indeed. I always have to make sure I say that, Thank and then I always slow it down. So you don't the mess BCC. it up. <laughs> the BCC, I as opposed the to the BBC. BBC. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No fake news over here. Okay, <laughs> that's right. That's right, man. <laughs> Whew. You are the calm after the fire. So, uh, once yeah. again, big shout-outs going out to uh, my brother Larry yes. uh, Rivera, along with uh, Hakeem and uh, the other brother that was with them. <laughs> I, I forgot his name. Terrible. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Other brother, thank you for being here. <laughs> other, brother, yeah, other brother, orange shirt. OBB. <laughs> OBB. All right, so uh, welcome. It's uh, thank you. Monday afternoon. Yes, it is. And we have a uh, family back in the we building. We do. We have our brother in here, Keith mm-hmm. Sykes. Welcome to In Your Face and In Your Psych, Ear. Just kidding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first official time ever being together, right, in the studio. Yes, in this, so. in this capacity. But, yeah. You know, it's all love. It's, it's going to be almost like we're not even working. It, oh, yeah. Okay. It's all love, all right. no work. No yeah, because when you do what you love, mm-hmm. it's not like Absolutely. work, right? Isn't Absolutely. that what they say? So yes, it's mm-hmm. true. So, Keith, welcome. Ray, thank you. Happy Monday. So, mm-hmm. Ray, we need, I know people have seen this, but you're looking really sharp today. Extra oh, my sharp. dappiness? Yeah, Keith and I. Whoa! 
so okay, you I'm walk sorry. around the corner. Okay, yeah. so what's going on with the dapperness? Okay, so briefly, I have to explain it again. <laughs> Hold on, didn't you I explain this last it? week? To you, yeah. You did, but I mean, this is really special. This is a special Why? suit and tie. This combination Why? is just really working. This beautiful is that velvet on the, <laughs> on the white tie. It's velour. And it's got some little like diamonds or rhinestones. Shh, shh, can't put out that information. Just go People on gonna pull and me over and like shut your mouth, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Just you imagine, looking like new just, money. No, just imagine I'm walking down the street and they're like, all right, put your hands up, man. Just give us the tie. <laughs> give us the cut, tie and the no, handkerchief. they're just going to cut it off from like the knot. <laughs> <laughs> give us the tie and the handkerchief, so man. When you Forget walk, about everything when else. When you walked around the corner, what did he say? He said, yeah, Ray, Ray looking like he just came from the prom. Remember oh, the really? blue suit back in the prom? Uh, really? <laughs> Keith, that's what you said, Keith man? was like, Patrice, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew she was going to do that. I knew oh, she was going to put me on the spot. It was oh, like that, man. Keith, I do it, everybody. Don't act rude. Right. You know, we're family. Hello. It was like that, Keith. Go on, go on, man. No, no, see, I, I just thought you were going to at least give me the uh, memo so I could have stepped up my ho game. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold <laughs> oh, on. See. Now, I know, I know where he's <laughs> about to go. I know go. where he's going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let, me see if, let, me, let me see if we're on the same you know sheet of music. You he's going to blast you. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. You're about to tell me about the other night? No, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I'm not going to tell you what you're going to tell me. Let's see if there's some symmetry on your face. Yeah, exactly. In your Go ear. ahead. You, you said step up your game. I mean, what do you mean? What no, do you I mean just by meant that, that I, I needed to know, so I would have known to no. come dress okay, like. Okay, so that. so <laughs> let me let me let me give you um, what Patrice is asking me because okay, gotcha. I told her the story about being frumpy because my wife had uh, made a comment that I was hosting an event and that I looked frumpy. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So I said frumpy, and then I saw a photo of that event, and I'm like, man. Why I look so frumpy? <laughs> so I said, okay, I have to get back to, you know, what I know. Right, right. You know, because I was wearing a jacket that was, um, uh, let's say, a couple of years ago, I was working out. So I was a little okay. bigger okay. than what I am now. You know, so obviously, if I'm not the same size, then you're not going to have the same shape. And exactly. it's not going to be the same fit for that right. jacket. So it was frumpy looking. And then the mm -hmm. slacks. You know, they were the the, the the twelve inch, you know, cuffs and all that kind gotcha, of stuff, gotcha, and gotcha. so it just <laughs> looks. Yeah. Start pulling them up to no. your waist, above your waist. No, I mean the slacks. They they still fit and everything, but oh, okay. it was still just looking yeah. frumpy. Yeah. <laughs> there Not was there fitted. was no there was no like. Ah, right. Ah, ah. Yeah, you got you know, the angles kind of, going on now. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so 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 that's what it is. So I said, you know, you know, I had a conversation not only with my wife, and I told my wife, I appreciate you being who you are mm -hmm. and she says well you know I'm your wife and I love you and that's why I'm telling you that you look frumpy you know because I always had my A game on it you know I went to the show people oh yeah you look nice yeah but that's to them right but she knows how I am and yeah. she knows when she's she gonna keep me. it real yeah. exactly it real. and you're a brand consultant so you exactly. want to look the part exactly yeah. so mm -hmm. I wanted to be consistent with that and not only that too but I'm also you know picking up the responsibility in regards to uh, my students that are here at Bronco Eye Radio right. especially the young men right I want to be that example and I always talk to them about being the example you know be the change that you want to see and if you want to see that change then you have to put forth the action and the effort right you know so on a daily basis yes it, it may be cumbersome at times because you know you got to pick out your combinations and all that kind of stuff and put your stuff together and everything but it's worth it at the end of the day if i'm going to positively before. no i don't you do it that morning yeah it just depends you. it okay. depends on how the the feeling hits me okay okay you know so you might not it might, it might be a night day. where i may okay uh, tomorrow is going to be that jacket okay right. or it might be that suit uh-huh you know, but then I get up in the morning and then, you know, each day it's a new day. Absolutely. Right. So new ideas and concepts come to you. I say, mm. you know what? Let me let me put these together and, and see what this okay. goes with. And and then big shout outs going out to uh, my guy, uh, Times by Marcus, Marcus Alexander as Marcus. well. Marcus. Yes. You know, and Philip Michaels. Yes. yes Philip Michael Philip Fashions Michaels. for Men. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. You know, they're, they they want to employ me over there. What? I'm like, I'm, I'm buying up product, man. I'm going to get you some I'm like, I need some stock. <laughs> I need some stock. Yes. I know, Amen. I know that's do true what you me. have to do. Amen. Yeah, so big shout outs going out to my folks over yeah. there at, uh, at, at Philip Michaels as well, too. And also uh, my good friends at uh, Lovey Banks Accessories, as well as uh, Jewelry by uh, Sonya D. Total Sonya. You in, as well okay. as Ian Tyson Jewelry as well, too, man. So you had to get that out of the yeah, way. Yeah, cool. definitely. So, so, so that's why I do what I do. Amen. Well, you're looking sharp you're like, today, amen. brother. Amen. Let's amen. move on. Amen. <laughs> no, not See at all. Key? I didn't mean to She's cut like, you amen. off. amen. Come on, let's go. Okay, that's enough. That was not what it was. And let me tell Keith. Because uh, Keith is a is a standard bearer kind of person. Okay. You know, when it comes to I his agree. eye. Mm -hmm. And not for only sure. his eye for photography, but mm -hmm. also for fashion as yeah. well, too, man. You you on point, brother. Yeah, so yeah, that's I why I said that. when you said I, you mm -hmm. had to step up. You, no, just keep your game going, bro, all the yeah, time. Yeah, I just, I just yeah. meant in this moment. 
Yeah. yeah okay. In this moment. So you already knew you had it. You were like, <laughs> just in this moment. In this moment. <laughs> He's like, oh, Ray, I already knew I had it. I didn't need a confirmation. <laughs> Thanks, though. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Appreciate you. Though. Oh, man. But so, you know what? It's, yeah. it's important also as well, too, to make sure that you pay it forward and you pay compliment to people when they're doing so stuff. True. Because a lot of times, yes. it's just the same thing Larry was just talking yes. about a little while ago. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hate. Yeah, it really is. But give the honor where honor is Exactly, feels. man. And yeah. you be putting it down, brother. Amen. I'll just tell you that. that. You Amen. put it down. I'm like, yeah, keep knowing his stuff. It's true. A lot of people don't want to give credit. And, but then I recognize, too, on the other side, people don't know how to take compliments. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I found a lot of women yeah. are struggling. They struggle to take compliments. Mm, okay. I know when we were in Grenada, I would give compliments. And, and I could tell that wasn't part of their culture right. because yeah. they just didn't even know how to respond. Right. And so I was like, wow. Mm. And, you know, it's not a normal. It's, it should be the norm, but it's not. Yeah. You know? So I do want to get this bruise out of the way. Dalton said I can yeah. see your bruise. So, yeah. guys, this is just true oh, no, story. You want, you want the patch? I do need a patch. I, I should have put makeup on it, but I don't do a lot of makeup on well, a daily basis. Here you go, but here you go. I'm not wearing that big blue cloth. <laughs> <Right. looking crazy. laughs> looking like I just got out of the hospital. <laughs> like I'm infectious. I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just kidding, Ray. Right? Well, what had happened was, so, guys, in the middle of the night, I don't Some like. Carmex on. Like, no, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Shut up. <laughs> Let me have your boot near. I'll pin it on to <laughs> it. Oh, man, that's going to hurt. <laughs> that's going to hurt. need some super glue. I'll just stick a flower Ooh, on my arm. Okay. Oh, but in the middle goodness. of the night when I get up to go to the, the bathroom, I mm -hmm. don't like opening my eyes fully because the light just wakes me up like mm -hmm. I'm a very light sleeper. So I'll kind of go like this, like mm -hmm. with my eyes, like partially Accident closed. waiting to happen. And Dalton is like, really, dude? Like, this is just ridiculous. Because <laughs> most times he's up. Mm -hmm. And so this one night in particular was last week. I just overcompensated and went more to the right. And I know I need to stick to the left because mm. the dresser is on the right. And wow. I walked into the corner of the dresser. He wow. didn't even wake up. Like, literally, I almost knocked everything off the dresser. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <It's> so <hard>. Man. <laughs> so, if you guys see a bruise, that's what happened. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's all our story. Going on. He's up, Dalton. I'm to He's it. up, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were coming. You know, he's been doing that MMA. Uh -huh. He's like, you know, boxing in the, in the, I'm um, using the boxing bag. Uh -huh. Side eye, Dalton. Uh -huh. <laughs> you feel my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my boo hoo hoo hoo. Dang it. Sing Usher, it. sit down. Okay. <laughs> yes, so you want to do some shout outs real quick and let's yes, get to the show? Yes, definitely, yeah. Okay, so Elizabeth Castro, love you so much. Thank you for watching. Hello and hi to you all the way from New Jersey. Hey, Jersey Stephanie in the Glover, house. Stephanie Glover, she said Keith, yes, and sent hearts. Uh-oh, Keith. Stephanie, thank you for watching. Yes, and sent but hearts, huh? Is it Venasia? Hmm? Venasia, Rosemary, Venicia. Gunter, Venicia. Yeah, okay, Venicia. hi, family. Hey, girl. Hey, boo. Stephanie <laughs> Glover, she said Dapper Ray Thomas. Thank you very much. Thank Stephanie you. Stephanie Kegler said Sookie with the white tie. All right, now. <laughs> now. <laughs> sookie, sookie now. All right, now. With the glow in the dark. <laughs> okay, and then Yvette Bell, she said, hey, Keith. Annette Marie Ziegler said, you both always look dapper. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Venetia said, looking good, great. Looking great, my brother. Thank you. Stephanie said, I'm sure Keith said it. He did, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Ricardo Morgan said, Keith Sykes, exclamation up, mark. Ricardo? Michael, Rick. so much. Thank PR. you, Michael. Michael, thank you for watching and holding since 1 p.m. Michael should produce our show. He's like, it's 20 minutes. Are you guys coming on? Oh, like, you yeah. know, producers oh, like really? Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. Miss the bang Dalton, on the counter. Uh, thank exactly. you very much. We appreciate that. And we missed you from last week. Thanks again for coming in. Yeah. Dalton, thank you for watching. Edna Johnson Irizarry. Yeah. She said, Lou and I are turning, tuning in all the way from Houston. Thank you guys right, so yeah. much. We appreciate you. Two days you. for the Irizarry. Yes. Melissa Wilson Jackson. She said, Mr. Thomas is dressed like he went to the royal wedding without us. Girl, he just, he just well, don't actually, want us to know. Did actually, you I did get back uh, late this morning, though. Oh, well, well how you was it? Talk of the morning to you, do you? No, seriously. Um, <laughs> You know, um. <laughs> Marco's relative. It's my cousin. I'm just saying. On the low low. So I'm now a um <laughs> guys look at my face. I'm the Lord of <laughs> <laughs> No. You, you know think, how Eddie you Murphy used to look right, right at the camera? You think I'm bet. kidding? <laughs> okay. You think it's a game? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I am now the Lord of Winchester. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Winchester Rifles. You're a nutball. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of Loch Lomond. Oh, Loch okay, Lomond. So <laughs> well, you know, I used to live over in Loch Lomond. Said, the, only the Holy Spirit would have revealed that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo Morgan said, looking sharp, Ray. Thank you, Keith, pretty Ricky. He said, hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, Keith. Michael Stewart said, holla. They need to see how they should be so they will know. Be that example. Be that man. Yes, ma'am. Jalamir, thank you so much for watching. Jalamir Cochran, love her Zumba mm -hmm. um, instructor extraordinary and great buddy. Yes. Tiffany Jackson, thank you for watching. Hey, Tiff. And Jasmine Harris says, Keith knows his dress game is official. All official. Cast. I know that's right. Official. Yes, sir. Yes. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, that's all you have on your, your list, huh? That's all I have. What you got? Derek Graham. 
Derek, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Also, PJ from Mississippi. PJ, thanks for hey, watching. Hey, Pammy James, appreciate you. As well as uh, Kim Howard, my Cambridge homie. Kim, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in up there in uh, Virginia. And I believe that is everyone. Okay. So we're good now. Real quick. Father, we just ask you right now in Jesus' name that you would come uh, with us, that you would be with yes. us, be in our midst. We invite you here, Holy Spirit. We know that you're here because the Bible says where two or three are gathered, there you are in the midst. So we just mm. thank you for your presence. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your redeeming this time, God, for us. Thank you um, for just being who you are to us. We repent for every sin and word, thought, and deed. And God, right now, I just prophesy over my brother Keith that this is his season, Lord God, that this, the light of God has shone upon him and that this is his season of elevation, Father. Father God, this is the season of favor. So we just ask, Lord God, that as he shares about his photography, as he shares about his events and all the things that you have gifted him to do, that the full weight of them will come to bear and that his gift will make room for him and place him before great men and women. The Bible says that we will be placed before kings and queens. Father, that you would open doors that no man can close and close doors that no man can open. God bless our brother Ray. God, may our conversation be full of grace and seasoned with salt. And may today as we discuss not only Keith, but um, his wisdom in entrepreneurship, May it bless the listeners. May you touch each one that is listening today in Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. 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 All right, so let's get right into it. So, Keith, <coughs> welcome to the show. So you're no stranger to me, but for those that may be tuning in that have not met you before, um, I'm going to say your name, but you tell us who you are. So, guys, this is Keith Sykes. He is our brother. He's family here on um, Bronco I Radio, but he is the owner of, excuse me, Creative Images Photography. He is also um, the newly launched um, founder of As I See It, right? I call it As I See It. I see that as a movement. So right, you can tell me right. if you see differently. And some other things that we're going to talk about definitely has a lot of wisdom as it relates to being an entrepreneur. But I want you to meet him today officially, and we're just going to put him out there and watch as he takes off. So welcome to the show. Welcome to In Your Face you. and In Your Ear. Thank you so much for having me. And yeah. um, I... I'm actually glad to be here, um, and I was actually nervous about being here. At the mm -hmm. same time, I told you that while we were waiting outside, mm -hmm. uh, one of the main reasons is because I was trying to think about saying everything correct. But mm -hmm. then I thought about it. I said, you know what? Mm. When I'm when I'm around you, it's almost like everything just flows anyway. Oh, okay, I thought uh, you were going in a different direction. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> everything Wait, just flows, and you me? and you <laughs> make, you just make me feel so comfortable Aww, when we're talking uh, that you're I don't welcome. even think about what I'm saying. So. Aww. Um, yeah, I, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, been living here in Fayetteville since 2001. Okay. Um, retired from the military in 2010. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, been working for Womack since 2010. So uh, I work as a liaison for soldiers being medically separated from the Army. Mm -hmm. And I do my photography on the side. Uh, people are always asking me, why don't you stop and do that full time? And I really don't see the photography in itself as being something full time that I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. But I do see it as being something that's going to take me to where God has me going. Wow. Um, uh, and you talk about as I see it mm -hmm. being a movement. When I came up with that concept for my show, mm -hmm. that's exactly what I thought. Um, mm -hmm. Because it was much, it was way bigger than the show it was, mm -hmm. uh, show itself. Um, so it's just the, the fact of being present like we talked about in the mm -hmm. hall mm -hmm. being present and allowing that to come into me and just tell me how big it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and how many people it's supposed to touch wow so i hope you guys will stay to the end because what keith and i are going to talk about is we're going to categorize it because he set the show up for me i didn't have to do anything <laughs> other than just show up today thank you for that i love efficiency <laughs> right. so we're actually going to talk about your photography about your event that was amazing that the, as i thank see it event that launched the movement that you're talking about but we're also going to have some discussions about entrepreneurship and just the branding that we talked about, just the importance of being present. So we're going to get to that. But, guys, I want you guys to know that Keith is like Tommy. I didn't even know you had a full-time job. Like, he <laughs> said, I said, you have a job. What? You don't work, man. Because no every job. time I see you, it's funny. I thought that your photography was full-time because right. you put your photography out there. It, it has been just this consistent thing. Yeah, it really has. To the extent that I really thought that was full-time. No. Yeah. And, and, and it's funny awesome. that you say what you said about you relate to me as Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I know Stephanie is cracking <laughs> up because that's you what they would always say. Job. Because my job, let me tell you, I, and, and shout out to my my coworkers <laughs> and my supervisor at Womack uh, in the uh, medical evaluation board section. Yeah. Like my job doesn't even feel like a job. Like wow. I'm telling you, they they are so good to us there, mm -hmm. um, and my job is so stress free. 
uh, that I'm able to do things like this, where as long as my job is taken care of, I can get out, you right. know, when I, as long as I have to leave, I mean, mm -hmm. it just won't let me leave. Okay, but, I thought right. you had um, it like that. Okay. No, 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 it's not that. Mm -hmm. I, I'll definitely be That's in the awesome. unemployment line if I try to. <laughs> but um, my photography, I really want it to remain the way it is now to where I do it when I want to do it. Okay. And it's not full time and, and it, and I'm, I'm led when I'm inspired mm -hmm. uh, because then I, I think f people feel it the way that they felt it at the show. Well, Dalton and I talk about that all the time because he started in photography and then we graduated into film. And when I met him, he had been doing photography, I think for like in the teen years, like 18, right, something right. like that. But he says, often we have conversations about when something is obligatory then the creativity is stilted right. Right. so then and my sister she makes jewelry gorgeous jewelry and my brother so i feel like when you have this thing over top you mm -hmm. know then you can't really create right you know so let's talk about that so creative images yes photography so let's do the logo real quick you have a logo you can show i actually you have, have that it. bag with yeah, you like <clears throat> so love your logo so let's talk about that real quick the branding is Awesome. So uh, the whole concept behind the logo came from, you know, my name, of course, the K, mm -hmm. Keith. Mm -hmm. um, and go back to high school. When I graduated uh, my senior year in high school, I was voted as one of two uh, as being most creative uh, way back in high school. And so, of course, the idea of K, Keith, mm -hmm. and creative, I put that together. Mm -hmm. But people have always told me, wow, you have an eye. In the beginning, I thought people were just being nice, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, say something nice. To, if right. you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. So right. when I started to notice the things that I would see mm -hmm. and, and how I would see them, mm -hmm. you know, that whole as I see it thing has been way back in yeah. the making. Uh, so when I thought about a logo, and this is no joke, I was sitting in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember the restaurant I was sitting in. Uh, but on a napkin, it's like the logo literally, and I think I still have the napkin. Mm -hmm. The logo literally came to me, and I drew the logo exactly like you see it. Wow. Like, exactly like you see it. I drew it on a napkin, mm -hmm. and I took a picture of it, and I sent it to Stephanie and Serena. Okay. Uh, shout out to Stephanie Kegler Hi and Serena guys. Johnson. Love you guys. Stephanie, thank you for my Dancing Without Sin bracelet. I love you. I'll carry <laughs> a little piece of you everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. So okay. I took a picture of it <laughs> and I sent it to both of them. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is my logo. And, you know, I call Steph like my Flavor Flav. She's always hyping me up. She's totally the hype man. She really In is. In fact, she said, you ain't got no job, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she said she is hollering. Okay, go ahead. So I, I sent her and Serena the picture, mm -hmm. and and I, I I can only say that that was God that gave that to me Amen. because I didn't have to do anything to it. That is so awesome. I turned it over to the graphic designer. Okay. He created it, you know, sharpened it up, uh -huh. sent it back to me probably a week later, and that was my logo. So what people don't notice in the logo itself is it has a triple meaning. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. The K, of course, triple is threat. for... Keith, mm -hmm. but the images which you see comes from the eye. A, a lot of people don't realize that eye, where mm -hmm. the the yeah. right leg of the K mm -hmm. actually comes up to the lens of the camera, which mm -hmm. is the dot of the eye. Okay. okay. So the lens of the camera also is an eye, uh -huh. and then the lens of the camera that creates the images. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. and then in creative images itself, the K is red and the S is red for my first name and my last name, Keith Sykes. But you know what I see too is that the camera is in you. Because right. the camera's going into the K, so it's right. like something that's within you. Right. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Love it. So, we know there are a lot of photographers in the world. Yes. Even here in town. So Absolutely. So, what sets you apart? What makes you different? What I can tell you is uh, when... Yeah, let me take that down. Mm -hmm. When I started taking pictures uh, initially, I started taking pictures with my phone. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have a camera at first. Wow. Um, and I started seeing things, but when I would see them, mm -hmm. uh, and, and let me not say I didn't have a camera. Everybody has a camera. I had a camera, but I wasn't serious about it at the okay. time. So I was taking pictures really with my phone. Okay. When I started taking pictures, I would post them to Facebook. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my photography friends would ask me, what kind of camera do you have? Because mm -hmm. that's all they care about right. you know, is the equipment uh -huh. itself. So I was like, why are they asking me that? Mm -hmm. you know? So then when I would post the pictures, even when I would post them on some of the photography groups that I was a part of, mm -hmm. that was the question that I kept getting. Right. What kind of camera do you have? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why is that so important? So mm -hmm. um, I say that to say when I started really getting serious about it, because people would say, you know, you really should sell the pictures that you take. So when I started letting the cat out the bag that I was taking pictures with my phone, 
I really had to prove it to people because they really didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm also saying that to say that it's not so much about the equipment that you use. It really is about what you see mm -hmm. and how you compose it. Yeah. Right. So when I started to do that, uh, one of the very first places that I went to take pictures with my phone, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to come full circle eventually with my next event, is the uh, Cape Fear Botanical Gardens. Okay. That was one of the first places I went. Mm -hmm. So I left work half day on that day, went to the Cape Fear Botanical Gardens for about two and a half hours mm -hmm. and took probably about 200 pictures. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually framed a few of them. Uh, and when I started showing people, now all of these pictures were taken with my phone. Mm -hmm. I framed a few of them. I gave away a few of them as gifts, but no one believed that I took those pictures with my phone. Mm -hmm. So then I invested in a camera, mm -hmm. started taking pictures, and I guess at that point I was kind of like validated. So I what was do you a shoot with? Uh, what the camera that I shoot with is a Canon 7 Ti. Okay, oh, we won't hold that against you, man. Well, and that, oh, yes. yeah, we're canning <laughs> people. Not God, well, we're not canning people. If you said my time, I was right. like, this show is a wrap. Now, 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 listen, now listen, listen. My brother, it's over. my brother, okay. shout out to Stanley. My uh -huh. brother uh -huh. Stanley Sykes, he he shoots with Nikon as well. Mm -hmm. And he's always giving me a hard time about it. Bless your heart, yeah. Stanley. Uh -huh. now. It's all good, man. So bless okay, his so heart. I know, bless your heart. We're still friends, man. So just a side note. So, Keith, this bothered me. So this is like back to the beginning because you shared that you're from New Orleans, right? Yes. So I called you a warty. Was that you, offensive? No, not at all. Okay, not, so I know, I, okay. Of course I know where that comes from. You know, plus I love juvenile, uh, you know, low-key. I don't listen to <laughs> juvenile anymore. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but they're like, warty. So when Keith said he was, I was like, you were, I didn't know you were a warty. He was like, what? <laughs> no, I, I only said that because I, I, I had to that coming out of your mouth. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to repent. I was like, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Because there are wards in Louisiana, right? Right, okay. like yeah, right. different wards. Just and so, make sure. okay. but ward is like kind of a street thing, mm -hmm. right? It's like it slang, is. yeah. It is. But you mentioned the photography and um, how this started just with the phone. But would you say when would you say everything officially launched and happened and started? So as cre a movement for creative you? images uh, started in April of 2015. Okay. Uh, because so many of my friends and family started telling me, you know, you really need to start a business with mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. uh, and. Initially, I was taking nothing but landscape photos. Okay. You know, I would just go as I was traveling, mm -hmm. uh, places that I would see literally driving to one place and noticing something as I was driving, jumping out the car, taking a picture of it. And people would say, oh, I would pay for that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try that and out. And you will be. <laughs> okay. Right, right. I'll try you at your so work. <laughs> I, I started out uh -huh. um, on this, I won't even name the site, but I started out putting my pictures on uh, the internet okay on a specific uh, photo site okay and I think I sold maybe two photos and I, I was so discouraged you know so I was like you know this is not I'm not even gonna do this to myself mm -hmm. you know because first of all it's not a competition right um, I don't need this site to validate what I do you know and I'm not gonna make myself have to do it right you know if somebody wants to you know uh, invest in what I do I'll let them do it mm -hmm. and then I'll keep it to the point where I'm doing it when I want to do mm -hmm. it you know so that's what I did and the moment I made that decision it went in a whole different direction yeah because yeah. i think that we were talking about that and we'll get sort of that to that in the business piece but i think when you try to force something or there's Absolutely. this anxiety Absolutely. around it it does create a stop yes it's just in the spirit you know yeah. so things get blocked up because i don't know it's like a desperation when you don't have to desire to the point of desperation what god already has for you right you know what i mean so then flesh kicks in as yes. opposed to just allowing it to flow yes but i was going to um i was thinking about when you were saying about the two that sold I'm thinking wow that's amazing so it's funny that you saw that differently where you were like I only sold two I'm like man you sold some photographs <laughs> like that's amazing <laughs> you know what I mean but I guess we had this expectation right, right that right. this is just going to be a flood gate mm -hmm. that opens up so okay awesome well let's talk about your photography which is incredible thank you beautiful thank you. you really do have an amazing eye and I'm not just saying that I bet you know Ray could probably test that and some people have shared in their comments the same and even Dalton, you know, who, again, is a fellow photographer, we were just blown away by thank your you, images. Thank you. So thank you for inviting us to as your, to your As I See It um, launch. But let's talk about that. So yeah. now you started on the phone with your photos, graduated to a Canon. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the business began to develop. It did. But then this movement came. So how did As I See It come into creativity? So uh, again, or creation, I should say. Uh, again, that whole concept came to me literally sitting at the table mm -hmm. writing it down on a piece of paper like mm -hmm. the entire name mm -hmm. um, came to me and the concept and everything of how I wanted to set everything up mm -hmm. in the room mm -hmm. uh, literally was a vision uh, and, and I, even when I say it 
you know, because my brother has this thing where every time I post certain things on Facebook and if I'm trying to feel like, if I'm trying to put something out there like deep or whatever, my brother's always posting, talking about that's so corny. Like my brother <laughs> see haters. To the, point, to, the point, to the point that I have to delete his comments because he makes me feel so Stanley, bad. Stanley, we need yeah, you to Stanley, stop. Don't, don't Please do that. Please stop, Stanley. Don't do that. <laughs> You're crushing my spirit. Exactly. <laughs> Siblings will just wear you out. Won't they just crush you worse than anybody? Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so look, I, I, it came to me as I see it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I have some amazing friends. Shout out again to... Kelly, Kalisha, Serena, you know, Steph, you know, when I come up Louis with something, Edna. they're mm -hmm. like, sometimes they're like a bad influence in a good way. Right. Because they, you know, you come up with an idea and they already see it at the crown. You yeah. know, they're like, they're oh, like, do I, it. I see, yeah, yeah, do this. I see uh -huh. it here and I see right. it on big lights, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, can we just get the little show where I invite right. 10 people <laughs> right. so I don't get my feelings hurt? Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so when, when that name came to me, um, I started putting things together and so the name itself the show itself came as a result of edna from elite catering shout out to Hi, edna, edna. Mm -hmm. forcing me because edna has already always supported me and my photography mm -hmm. and she uh, i had a conversation with her one day in her restaurant mm -hmm. about putting on a show and she asked me had you ever thought about putting on a show and i said no not really um i, I just don't know if i really want to put it out there on that scale yet you know I just didn't. So she was like, I think you should do it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll think about it. So another day I was in her restaurant sitting down talking to her and she was like, so what do you think about the show? And I was like, I, yeah, I, I think, I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. She was like, well, all you have to do is just give me the time frame, give me the time frame, and I'll make it happen. And I told her, okay, I, I think I'll do it next year. Now this was probably about November of last year. Mm -hmm. And she was like, all right, I'll, let me make a few phone calls and I'll see what I can do. Two weeks later, she was like, I got the place. You just tell me if you want to go or not. I said, okay, I'll do it. So it was locked in just that quick. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I felt, e I never told her this, but it I felt enormous <laughs> pressure. I yeah. would have like panicked. Like, I, oh and my I gosh. Did. Yeah. I did. I just did. Just internally for a moment. Right. Because, yeah. And then I was thinking, like, I literally have probably thousands of photos that yeah. I've taken. So then how do you um, even know? How do I decide yeah. what I'm going to put out there? Right. What's going to mm -hmm. be best received? Right. Um, and, and, and a little bit, I'm not even, I'm just going to keep it real. The, a little part of me was like, you know, what's going to make the most money? <laughs> <laughs> so I did think about yeah. that. But I really, really, and, and, and to be honest with you, I was not overly concerned about making anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I really just wanted to put things out there so people could see what I saw and feel how I felt when I took the photo. And I believe that translated. Mm -hmm. So for you guys, guys that are listening, so as I see it was Keith's first, um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, first photography exhibit. Yes. It and was. it will be a movement, and it was launched at the Cape Fear Regional Theater here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And it was such a classy, incredible event. We had a step and repeat. I missed the food, but it wasn't vegan, but I heard it was delicious. And Lou and Edna Irizarry of Elite Catering provided that. And um, and the Cape Fear Regional Theater just allowed you to have this beautiful room yes. that Edna, I believe, just laid out. Yes. And so Keith's images were there, creative images photography was there and there was um, mixed media there were framed there was framed art yes. there were postcards there were just all these different um, pieces of media with his images and so not only I feel you tell me how you felt about it I believe it was wildly successful I, I because not only too. did you sell images but you were exposed to the community yes. you had a beautiful event and it was just so much love there it really it was, was awesome it, so. it, and, and I'm not it, if I say this, it's going to make it seem like I don't have faith in my friends and coworkers and mm -hmm. family and all of that. But that's not it. You know, when you come, when you embark on something and you just have that little bit of uncertainty mm -hmm. and you move forward, it's just that's just normal. We're just human. Right. But when it happened the way that it did mm -hmm. and it was so successful, it really caught me off guard. Right. Even to the point of the photographs that I sold mm -hmm. that night um, and the things that happened immediately after that. You know, it was just, uh, I, and I still, I, I'm still having a problem putting it all together and, and, and you know, just, just putting it all together. But I, I'm just glad that it, I was able to put it out there. Already looking forward to doing it again next year. And there was so much depth to what you shared in your images. Like one image Dalton and I looked at, we, I thought it was a painting. Right. Like, so I just love the depth. Right. You know, of your, the, and it's not depth of field, that's a photography thing, but I, there was just so much depth to just the images you shared you could see the contemplation mm -hmm. you could see the intentionality 
I mean, it was just gorgeous. I mean, your, your works were just gorgeous. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And, and you and I were just talking about this in the hall before we came in. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was telling you something about, a little bit about how the images even come to mind mm-hmm. when I'm about to take it. Right. Because a lot of times I'm walking around and I won't even have my camera. I'll just have my phone, mm-hmm. you know, just because I'm walking with my phone. And literally I'll look up and I'll see something. And when I see it, it's almost literally like it's being framed in front of me. Mm-hmm. Like how it needs to be composed how I need to take it, the angle, you know, whatever. So, you know, like I told you in the hallway, and like I said that night, I know that talent comes from God. I I know it does. Well, so just the faith piece, and then I want to touch on Compose, Mm because you said that twice. So I love that you soaked your event in prayer. I wasn't able to make it in the beginning, but when I saw the program, I was just so inspired that you had prayer, because Mm -hmm. that's not something that I often see happening in the creative arts. Right. And so tell me about that. Tell me how your faith ties in with, you know, I know you shared God and you give him the glory, but, you know, how do you feel that why is faith important as it relates to what you're doing and how does that tie into creative images? Well, from ever since I can remember when I was small, you know, I was one of those kids where my mom made me go to church, mm-hmm. you know, and I can remember being in church, acting up, you mm-hmm. know, just like I do sometimes now. And <laughs> <laughs> Take the wheel, but, Jesus. Uh, right, right. Um, but... I I never really had, way back then, I never really had a relationship with God, Mm -hmm. you know. Um, I I, I definitely believed in Him, and I definitely acknowledged Him as being head of my life and things like that, but I don't think as as a young kid, I really took it as serious as I do now. Mm -hmm. And even now, you know, I never profess to be where I need to be, but I know the importance of that relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. So... Um, And and one of the things that I can attribute it to, and and this is not even to blow smoke up my church's family, but New Beginnings Christian Church and my pastor, Pastor Ronnie Moore. Shout out to you um, guys. Absolutely. Um, I've been a member of that church for three years now, and the church has been in existence, well, actually formed for five. Okay. Um, But I I literally could not see myself a part of any other body. Mm -hmm. Um, except for that one right now Mm -hmm. Uh, because the things that I get you know and and, and that's another thing you were talking about compliments how important that is and and just sharing in general about what people and situations do for you you know I something that I said the other night at my event about how my pastor influenced me and how I looked at him he ended up saying something to me after the fact was saying he never knew that Mm -hmm. like how that made him feel and he felt humbled and things like that and and then I immediately said to myself wow I probably should have shared that with him Um, so it it definitely taught me a lesson in that moment but one of the things that's so important to me now is some of the things that I've been through in life I I attribute that to only being covered by you know grace Mm -hmm. and mercy and Mm -hmm. things like that because there's no other way I can explain getting out of it right so um, that's why it's so important because I know where that talent comes from mm-hmm. and I'm, I just know where those visions come from. Amen. Yeah, that's absolutely. Awesome. So now I know you were going to be featured in a Ray magazine. Has that happened yet? Uh, it actually comes out the first week of June. Awesome. So yeah. shout out to Marie, Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Yep. Yes. And, Anne Marie, the, and the staff yes. at Array. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank okay. You do you so want much. to tell us about that real quick and then we'll go into our Yes. So uh, the, the first week of uh, June, uh, Array magazine is going to feature my event. So they're going to feature me and my event recap everything that happened at the Cape Fear Regional Theater and talk about some of the things that's coming up uh, soon in the future. Awesome. Yeah. And so can we just share a little bit about Ray Magazine? You know, we're very appreciative of her and her grassroots. And I remember when Anne-Marie started. So I don't even know that there are... Anne-Marie, you can correct me because I know you were watching if you're still on. Is it five years yet? So maybe five I years think or so. so. I think so. I'm not really sure, but I think it is. So can you tell us just a little bit about them just to give her some... Yeah, so uh, I, I actually approached... Anne-Marie probably about a year and a half ago mm-hmm. after she had did a, a, a story on a group, uh, me and some friends. She did mm-hmm. a story, uh, her magazine did. And after that, I actually approached her about uh, writing mm-hmm. for the magazine uh, and taking photographs. Uh, so she graciously accepted, accepted and I started writing and doing photographs for the magazine. It's not something that I share a lot um, just because I was doing it really for 
my own thing, uh-huh. not really to, to tell people, oh, guess what I do or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she welcomed me into the fold and I started doing it and I've been doing it ever since. That's probably been about six months now. Awesome. Um, well, I think that's a good segue into our business discussion, but let's do some shout outs real quick. We have some people that are, have joined and also that awesome. have made comments. Um, so let's see. Ray Thomas, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching my own show. Janine, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Janine Daniels is watching. Janine, hey, thank Janine. you for watching. Tracy English says photography is his passion and you can tell by his photos. So Tracy, thank, thank you so you, much Tracy. for that. Michonne Baines. Hey, Michonne. She said, let's see his work. You know, that would have been a good idea for us to bring the work in, but where can people but see your work? But she can go to uh, his uh, Facebook mm-hmm. page. So, you, so it's, it's funny y'all say that because yeah. I, I came, I came okay, bearing, came prepared. I came bearing gifts. No, yeah. okay. actually, I came bearing gifts for Ray. Oh, um, wow. And Thank you. you. And then since since this is your show, I came with the bigger gift for you. So that's oh. a lot. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, so let's show an image. Hold on, wait a so oh, nice. Okay. Oh. And, and, and on the on the back of the picture, it says exactly what it is. Keith, so I know Flesh and Blood has not revealed this to you. These are the two of my favorite images from the show. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, guys. So, Ray, is the camera telling me? So this is Yes, one. it is. Just lean your image towards, tilt it, tilt it down. So one the glare image. is, there you go. Okay. Back up a little bit. Just back up. Back there you go. Up. There you go. Okay. Uh-huh. And so this image was one of my favorite, and this is downtown Fayetteville. And this image is my favorite, Keith, because you don't know this, but when we were little, my grandmother used to take me and my sister down here to this creek. We would go to the library and we would check out bags of books. So shout out to Grandma who's in heaven now, May Forney. I'm in love with her. And she gave me my love for reading oh, wow, wow. and writing. Mm-hmm. And so she would take us to this park, which is, I think, is Linear Park yes, is where yes, it yes. runs through now. And I didn't know it had a name. And so when I saw that, I was like, wow, it just brought back such happy oh, memories wow. and mm-hmm. such sweet memories with me and my twin sister, Garlanda. Shout out to Pastor Garlanda Price. And then this other photo. Am I holding it at the right angle? There okay. You go. So this is my, this was my all-time favorite oh, from wow. the event. Okay. I thought this, oh my gosh, this was amazing. And so this is um, Shaco Bottom. Am I saying yes, it right? Shaco yes. Bottom in mm-hmm. Richmond, Virginia. So definitely Dalton and I go to Virginia to... Um, this coffee spot and um we go through richmond and so i'm definitely going to make it a point to go see this when i go next time and then this one guys is the natchez on the mississippi you know what and and coincidentally i'm like why would you um i'm just saying why would he pick one of these pictures actually this one right here because uh, my wife has family in Natchez. Oh Shut wow! Up. Yes, indeed. When, <laughs> wow. As soon as I saw it, I'm like Natchez. I saw wow. it. I saw it on the um because that's like a ferry, right? What yes. do they call those yes. boats? Like ferry boats? Yeah, ferry mm-hmm. boats. So yeah, yeah river um, boat, river boat. a river yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. there it is. Yeah. yeah, and and I just know my experience from being in Mississippi at uh, my wife's uh, grandmother's house and things like that. So whenever I hear Natchez, okay, you know it brings back like fond memories, man. So yeah, nice, nice awesome. photo, brother. Awesome, definitely so. And that and that box there is actually a hard postcard set. Nice. Uh, it's pr- probably about ten inside there. So. Nice. So I get a little miniature key. A little, little yeah. Oh, look at Keith. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sweet. Hold on, hold on, hold on right there. Let me, let me zoom in and make him bigger. That is there so it is. awesome. Look at little Keith. Little Keith. How you doing, He's little like, Keith? What's your mom's first name? Violet. Look at Violet's little baby Keith. <laughs> Violet's little baby Keith. <laughs> that is so yes, precious. Indeed. I nice. love it. I like Beautiful that. Beautiful car. Love the logo. Yes. And so, guys, this is, and I don't know that you know this, but I just love postcards, nice, love magnets, nice. and images, and things like that. So this is definitely um, just well received. I love it. Thank awesome, you. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. That's really nice. Beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so let's it's continue on with that. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem at With all. our shout outs. Okay, so yes, Tracy, Michonne, Stephanie said, Michonne Baines, go to Creative Images on Facebook or Instagram. Stephanie, you are a rock star. Thank you for that. She said, Stephanie said, and I passed out over the paper napkin deal he came up with. So that was when we were talking about, about the logo. logo. Mm-hmm. And see, uh, Stephanie said, shout out to Lou and Edna, great supporters to the entire community. That shout is so Lou true. And shout and out, yes, guys. And, and Edna is such a pusher. She's amazing <laughs> she really in a really great she way. Really if you want to take your business to the next level, you want to be around Edna. And if you're scared, you want to be around Edna. <laughs> <laughs> because she will push Absolutely. you out of the nest. Absolutely. And she said, no pressure, just talent. She said, thank you, Stephanie. Thank um, Toprain Coatney. Am I saying that? Topran yeah. Coatney? TC, I call him TC. For short. So he said, mm. great interview. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, Stephanie Kegler said, Array Magazine. Yay. And then Diane. Holly. Holly. Okay, she says, hey, Keith, I'm proud of you, Diane, from Chicago. 
Diana's actually a photographer. I went. I was in the wow. army with her. Wow. Uh, she lives in, sh- in Chicago. Well, shout out to you, sister, yeah. and thank Shy you for your in the service. House. Yes, Shy indeed. The uh, Felicia Edwards Jetter. Bye, Felicia. Very proud of oh, you, Keith. Just kidding. One of my uh, <laughs> church members. Oh wow. Hey, God Felicia. Bless you, sister. Hey, <laughs> Felicia. Oh, see, yeah, he tried to change it up. <laughs> know, right? Yeah, he tried to change it. You can come back. The, you can come back now. <laughs> um, Venetia said, "Beautiful." Um, Anthony B O Hannah says, uh, "G afternoon, brother. Enjoy your day." <laughs> All right, <go> <laughs> and then Stephanie Kegler says, "Hold up, I didn't get a little keep." I got you, Steph. I, I got hate you. That's she cool, though. You have Keith. <laughs> she said, we'll talk later, sir. That's why you can't do everything on the air. You know, you get blasted. Right, exactly. <laughs> I ain't getting no little Keith. No, you not me. Let me tell you. I was being oh, okay. Stephanie. No, well, I was Stephanie, thinking I could me. see little Keith going in your no, pocket. No, no, not you me. You need to no. get these people can just put little Keith in their pocket. No, we can just carry you everywhere we go. Is Can with you me. imagine Keith is with me? The, may the may the odds <laughs> ever be in your favor. The force Keith be with, with you. Oh, oh may Keith goodness. be with you. <laughs> Mm-mm, I can see everything. Because Keith is with me. As I see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, at the show that mm-hmm. night, uh, you were talking about uh what some people get and you didn't get any of the food. So I was at the show and didn't get, didn't get any. Oh my gosh, oh, we cracked up but about I, that. But <laughs> let me hear. You. Everybody talked about how amazing the food, and I know it's yes. true because Edna and Louis. They food, always, they always do yeah. a great Absolutely. job, man. Yes. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. They, Absolutely. they are definitely when it comes to this marketplace, and you're talking about chefs and catering services. They are a plus, man. They Absolutely. are elite, definitely. And so elite. they did our. It's so funny because Dalton and I launched our multimedia business here on the campus mm-hmm. of Devil State at the Rosenthal, mm-hmm. and we hire elite catering by way of a. Um, Erica G. Harris, who was our event planner. Okay. Well, Lou and Edna, well, Edna told us, she said, you guys didn't know this, but you were our first official event oh, wow. as caterers. Okay. And when I tell you that food, their food is mm-hmm. off the chain. And yes. so we shout out, we're putting it in the post, um, Elite Catering. So, Stephanie, if you can share their their link, if you would do that for us, that would be great. And you'll get a little Keith for your yes, hard work. Yes, you <laughs> will. And, and one, one, one more thing about Edna and Lou. Mm-hmm. Like, it, when, they, when they create their packages for their catering Mm -hmm. you know it's like a literally a package like Mm -hmm. edna did our christmas party at work Mm -hmm. and one of the previous years we had another uh group that came in and did it and this past year when they came in and did it i mean you know the people who are at my job didn't really have any expectations but i knew you know i knew Uh so when they came in just like i thought you know edna blew Edna and Lou blew them away. I mean, mm-hmm. just the simple setup, but it was just how much detail they yes. paid, right. you know, put in just that uh, initial setup. And, and speaking about detail, brother, let's go ahead and give Edna her, her kudo shout out um, for that outfit that she was rocking. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Edna I didn't even know. Because, you know, no, usually, okay. usually when, when they're catering events, you know, you see them in the, in the Edna, chef, right. <laughs> chef coats and all that Beautiful. kind of stuff. But, and even Lou, Lou, you just saw the glow on his face. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. my baby right, right there. Right. But how about Lou <laughs> sat down next to my brother, calls her Shay Shay, uh-huh. sat down next to Shahara Pearson and was like, who's your girl? She was like, fool, that's your wife. <laughs> 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 it was hilarious. Oh, my gosh, oh, Edna, man. you were. So you're beautiful anyway, but you just took yes. it up to a whole nother level. So she had, like, this goddess dress with, like, the gold neckline. Her face was beat. So mm. shout out. I haven't been there, but I want to go because of her face. She went to the Face Cafe on okay. Ramsey Street, and mm. I've been wanting to try them out. But, Edna, you were just beautiful. Gone, Edna. Yes, she was. Gone, she girl. Was. Go gone, girl. Lou. Mm-hmm. Yes, gone, Lou. Lou's like, yeah, that's my boo yes. right there. My, my boo. Oh, my and as, oh, as a matter of fact, I just started getting the photos back from the event. Uh, shout out to the photographer, Kadeem Booth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's um, amazing. Yeah, he, um, very talented brother. Um, I appreciate him for everything. Uh, I, I'll start posting probably this evening. Awesome. Um, photos. Okay, so we've got to get to some business discussion Absolutely. real quick. Okay, Absolutely. so you segued just sharing that you may have a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy. You may work full time, Tommy. <laughs> right. AKA Little Keith. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like Little Keith. <laughs> Why got be little? That was though. my last time. He's little, the little uh, little miniature. Okay. He should be like a I stick pin. I get it. I get it. But you're not you. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. diminutive. So with that, you know, we talked about when we were out in the green room. 
about being present. We yes. talked about a lot a as lot it relates to business. And yes. so one of the things that Keith shared was that he was having a seminar coming up next. And so that's really how we got into the conversation. So tell us about the seminar that you want to do. And one of the things that you shared when you and I were just dialoguing is the importance of marketing. But of course, we got into a lot of other discussions. So many other things. So tell me about the seminar and then tell me about the importance of networking. And we'll kind of segue into that just briefly. Right. So the seminar is uh, a networking seminar for entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and it's not so much limited to entrepreneurs. It could be people that are just maybe your work as a part of an organization mm -hmm. and you just want to be a better part of that team you uh -huh. want to be a part better part of that tool you want to find out how to do certain things in life better more efficiently or whatever the case is so I came up with this idea probably about a year or two ago mm -hmm. um, and you were part of that uh, and I'm not just saying it because I'm on your show you were part of that inspiration Ray was a part of that inspiration because I I know Ray remembers this but I used to work along with Ray way back yeah, when wow. he was doing voiceovers for Third Rail, yeah. way back on Hay Street. Mm -hmm. Hay Street and yeah. that was my very first experience with Ray. And from a distance, I just saw how sharp he was and how he did things. And, and I said way back then, and I didn't really know a lot about him, but I said way back then, like, that's somebody I want to be connected mm -hmm. with. Um, and then and same thing with you. You know, when I met you, I remember the very first time and just being in those circles that you traveled in. And it was just this vibe, this light that you gave off. And, and a, a lot of people in my circle now are that same way, mm -hmm. you know, and we were talking about that in the hall. Mm -hmm. Like, that's important, it right. is. you know. Yeah. Your inner so circle is um, key. this mm -hmm. seminar is going to be about the importance of that, like mm -hmm. the importance of your circle, mm -hmm. the importance of you as an entrepreneur, like never turning it off. Like one thing that I definitely wanted to say, because I've this is actually a topic of discussion on its own, but I've heard so many people say, my face, my business page is separate from my personal page, so don't worry about that. And that's not true. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely not true. Mm -hmm. yeah, because your ratchet personal right. page will yeah, prevent exactly. me from doing absolutely. business with you. Because what yes. you need to understand, yes. and we need to understand, <clears throat> even to the point of privacy settings. Right. There's no such thing as private. Mm -hmm. Because it's as true. long as I'm able to uh, screenshot it, exactly <laughs> screenshot it, yeah. and put it out there, and people, you know, people are good for right. that. Right. So one of the things that I want to do, and and you actually like put me at, at a place where I thought I knew exactly where I wanted to go but then when we started talking in the hall it was like I started writing things down and like and you heard me say mm -hmm. oh that we got to talk about that too right. you know so we were talking about the importance of being present mm -hmm. that's one of the things that I want to focus on in the seminar but it's not so much the business as aspect of it it's the you said it out in the hall the self-care self -care. we were talking about self-care yeah. and how important that is for the person that's going into business to be healthy right. to be whole to be you know have that strong foundation whether it comes from relationships friendships family you know all of that and and just mm -hmm. to understand that so w those things are of course we're going to touch on the importance of you know having your, your your business covered with you know uh being registered and doing your taxes and you know those one-on-one -on -one things for right. business but it's so much bigger than that you yeah. know because you have to be mentally prepared to go into that it's true and the thing we talked about was character yes because How people wonder why you know my business isn't flourishing or why you know you might have just started your business four months ago but now you've blown up and right. you're rocking right. out well why and i've been doing this for, for ever right. absolutely but sometimes character is a, is a major yes. component you can be good at your business but if you have a terrible character you have yes. um an ill intention or you are just about the money not yes. that we're not in business running because we are in business to make money but that can't be the main focus because there are times in business we didn't make money for the first five years because a lot of times right. you're spending networking trying to build your brand trying to get exposed and be out there and just be known so you've got to have that stick to itiveness so but if you don't have the right character or you're someone who doesn't handle business <coughs> or you're busy right and, and busy is an acronym I've heard bound under Satan's yoke meaning you're oh, wow. so busy that you can't be focused right, right so you don't handle business well you come across as flaky because you don't close the loop you don't follow up you don't return phone calls one thing that gets me to this day is when I call somebody and their voicemail is full 
when I tell you I just want to spit milk, oh, that's a business owner. <laughs> right, How are absolutely. you in business and your voicemail yeah, is full on a consistent basis? Now, it could fill up that day or, you know, I'll give you two days. But after 48 hours, like, you still, mm -hmm. with your voicemail, how are you getting business? Right. How are you making money? Absolutely. Even how to set prices. But that self-care piece is critical because what we were talking about was that grinding, you know, always being on the grind. Absolutely. Not sleeping, not resting. And I was sharing... Um, about Ariana Huffington, which I've shared before on this show, about how she shared that she fell asleep and hit her face on her desk right. and then had to go to the ER. And she realized that as a billionaire, she said, I, I became so focused on the work that I stopped taking care of myself. And I realized that if I die or I'm sick or I'm exhausted, I'm really not showing up for my business in the right. best way. Right. And I'm not being there. So now she's created this whole other dialogue and this whole community around self-care. And so I think holistic, I think about holistic Absolutely. entrepreneurship. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's critical. Yes. yes. Because if you don't have your business handled personally, that's going to show up in your business. If you have a nasty attitude, you have a root of bitterness, people aren't going to want to do business with you. Not at all. You have a foul mouth. I mean, it just all translates. It does. You know, so back to you. It's not my show. It's your show. <laughs> back so. to you, Luke. <laughs> so um, <laughs> a, a, another thing about this uh, is going to be the importance of sharing information because yes. we get a lot of people people that you know even let's just say if we're in the same medium like I'm a photographer you're a photographer mm -hmm. now shout out to the photographers locally that have reached out and helped because there's a lot of those mm -hmm. um, definitely like shout out to Tony Veritas we talked about him hey in the Tony Harlem. shout out to um, you bud my little nephew um, yeah, absolutely awesome. mm -hmm. um, and, and Kadeem I talked about mm -hmm. Kadeem already uh, but there are those uh, in the very beginning of my photography journey that I reached out to one way or another and just didn't get quite those warm and fuzzies about mm. it uh, and then when I started looking at them from a distance I saw that they really didn't invest or pour into a lot of mm -hmm. people you know it wasn't just me right. so I didn't take it personally um, but the thing we have to get away from is being afraid to share ideas share information you know help that other person get right. to where you think or you believe you are mm -hmm. um or even higher than that you know that's, that's one of the things I've, I've never tried to compete with anybody right. you know when i because i feel like your gift is going to make that room it's and true. you're going to do what the you words. there's enough for everybody yeah what's right. meant for you, like, yeah, meant what's for meant you. For you is going to be true. for you you know so I, I think we need to share that information we talked about be present and then the fact that creativity is not a competition Amen. It's Creative just not. Is, is I don't see anybody everybody. as my competition. Right. Because right. at the end of the day, God called me to this vineyard. Right. And in this vineyard there, he said, well, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. Right. right. And so he called us to labor in this vineyard. Well, if there are other people in the vineyard, that means mean it's a huge vineyard. Mm -hmm. And he knew one person couldn't handle the capacity of Absolutely. the work. Or I just need to work my section. Absolutely. I don't need to go into somebody else's <laughs> you know, <laughs> piece of their vineyard. Right. But something I see you wrote down is investment. Invest in so, yourself. Yeah, yeah let's invest. talk about that. Let me tell you. That um, we need to definitely have a seminar on that. Absolutely, because I, I've seen so many people. And, and matter of fact, Stephanie and I were just talking about this before I came here to the show, mm -hmm. um, about how sometimes you want to get something made, whether it be to market your own business. And somebody offers you a price of $100. I'll just throw that out there. And you're like, uh, I, you know, I don't know about $100, but what you're basically telling yourself is I'm not worth $100. Right. You know, now I, I understand looking for, you know, being a good steward, yeah, a good deal. Yeah, right. and, and not wanting to just spend <laughs> just to be spending. But when you're talking about that work that's going to set your service or your product apart, apart. from others, mm -hmm. you have to be willing to invest in right. yourself. You know, especially not to the point where you're going to recommend something to somebody else, but then you're going to go and find a deal that's not even what you recommended to that other right. person. So I feel like when you're trying to market your business, when you're trying to prepare those products, always go above, above and beyond for yourself. It's true. Absolutely. Yeah. And not only that, don't come down off the price. You know, I used to right. do that speak because the people made me feel uncomfortable. I can't afford it. Well, that's, well, that's probably not for you. Mean it. I'm <laughs> probably not for you. Then right. at this point and where we are yeah. in our business at this point, then it's not the season. Mm -hmm. Because when someone quotes me a price, your price is your price. Right. right. And that's what I need to be prepared to pay. And if I can't pay it in that moment, then I'm going to prepare myself to be able to pay it Absolutely. in that right season. Because it's just the right thing to do mm -hmm. and I think that it speaks to a mentality that we have to as people take this cap off this poverty mindset right. you know and this really slave mentality of I don't have enough it's like a lack mentality right you know that I don't have enough mm -hmm. is that in your notes is that where you're laughing no, <laughs> no, no I'm just <laughs> but I just think about that how you know people used to say well that's too much 
you know, when you mm. quote your rate. No, it's, so then they try to turn it around and make you feel bad because of what your rate is. But in truth, what they're saying is it's too much for me. Mm-hmm. It's not too much from my right. end. And so I want us to, as people, I won't even say African Americans, but as people to begin to see the value mm-hmm. right. in what others do because then it's a reciprocity that comes. There's a law of reciprocity Absolutely. in Absolutely. the Bible. It says you reap and sow. You sow what you reap. And so in that reciprocity, if I honor you where you are, then that same honor is going to come back to me mm-hmm. in my business. Absolutely. So there was something else you said that um, I wanted to touch on, but go ahead. Um, so uh, another thing as far as the network sem- seminar is just where we share <laughs> best practices, uh, challenges that you faced as an mm-hmm. entrepreneur, mm-hmm. Uh, startup <laughs> tips, you know, because yeah. I've, I've actually met business owners who have been in business for years and don't even have certain aspects of their business registered. You know, don't have their taxes paid. Right, yeah, mm-hmm. just certain things. And, and mm-hmm. just because somebody, you know, a certain person never even talked to them about the importance of that or they never even researched that to even do it, you know. So, uh, and just basic startup tips and financial info. So when we, you know, because I have the basic idea of it and the shell of it, but just finding the right pieces to come and be a part of it because it has to be everybody that comes and, and, and is a part of this thing mm-hmm. has to be totally present right. and has to be totally in mm-hmm. on this thing because I want the, the people who become a part of it to get the most out of it possible. Amen. Yeah. And then just the last question, um, something that you said, well, not last question, last comment about that along those lines is you can have a debt-free business. Yes. I'm excited to say that Dalton and I have a debt-free business. Right. Now, it's going to cost you some money out of pocket or you use somebody else's money, but we can have debt-free businesses without starting with money. Absolutely. And there's a way to do that. Absolutely. That you can start your business without money. You just have to start. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think some people are so afraid. That's so I'm the biggest step, about though. That. Yeah, it's That's just that starting. That's the biggest step, man. It people is. are afraid to even start. And, and, and I'll tell you this, like with the with the exhibit um when i started thinking about how much it was going to take to make that happen i'm not gonna lie i felt overwhelmed right. you know and one of the things that i told myself right off the bat was that i wanted to make a donation to the arts council mm-hmm. um so thinking to myself you know i want to make a donation to the arts council but i'm saying this before i've even sold the piece right you know so I sat down, shout out to uh, Deborah Mintz, uh, the director of the Arts Council. Um, She's another person that was uh, instrumental in making that happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, So when I sat down with her and her staff to present to them what I wanted to do, um, she she was interested and she was, she felt some kind of way, but she even uh, agreed to me that she really wasn't pulled like she was the night of the event right. you know right. so she she was like okay cool and i mean who's going to turn down a donation right just to be you know mm-hmm. donating so the night of the show she said she really saw the enormity of it and she really experienced it the way that i pitched it to them wow. in- initially so i'm saying that to say i may i stepped out on a limb and made the uh, agreement to donate to the arts council before i even sold the piece and I think because of that and just having my heart being in the right place mm-hmm. and doing that, yeah. it, it turned into something that I didn't even see. And that know, leap that, of faith. Right. You absolutely. know, just by faith. He said, by faith, the world was framed. You right. know, we can speak those things that be not mm-hmm. as though they were. So do you have a date? Or just a broad yeah, range. Yeah. So, okay. so the the event next year we're looking uh, we're looking at May ninth. This is for as year. I see it. As I see it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and it actually will be called something else. I'm not going to throw it out there yet. Okay. Um, because I I have the whole concept in my head, but mm-hmm. it's it's always going to be based on what I see. Okay. So C is going to be somewhere in there based okay. on the eye and the camera and the lens and okay. all of that. Yeah. Now, so. what about this business event? This business networking. Um, event? I'm I'm actually going to try to make that happen, uh, and and I'll say. I'm not going to set a date because I want it to be put together well, properly. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So if it happens and it happens and if it comes together properly and it happens in six months, then okay. it'll be six months. Perfect. But it's really going to be based on schedules of people okay. that I try to work with. Like okay. you're going to be one just so you know. Okay. I'm um, available. Okay. <laughs> um, Ray, absolutely. Right. You know, from, from branding ex- right. uh, perspective of branding your business and just things like that. So, but when I do events and I'm sure you guys see, from that piece right there like shout out to all my sponsors i can't i don't even have enough time to even thank them all but we're going to post it to the page and all of that but when i reached out to these people some of them supported me just to be supporting me because they've always been supported right but even they told me they had no idea it was going to be to that level wow you know so i shout out to them for just 
even well, saying that, that yeah, yeah yeah absolutely and, and I surprised myself I mm -hmm. really did and I don't even want to make it seem like I did that by myself because uh, my number one supporter is Serena Serena Johnson shout mm -hmm. out to Serena let me ask you a quick question though because um I have um, associates people that I've grown up with mm -hmm. that are visionaries yes and they have <clears> a vision to do something but everybody doesn't always get that vision right so in your process how does it affect you because you have to understand when you are walking with the man upstairs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything is possible right right you know so it, it's like i guess i'm saying this to say don't ever doubt your possibilities man oh and i know, you know that now I mean? let me tell you at that night literally changed everything for mm -hmm. me like it changed the way that i see things yeah and, and that's funny to even say because i thought i saw it like right. i thought the vision was there and I, I literally thought it was there because how easily things come to me mm -hmm. but what that let me see is that I, I only see the tip of the iceberg well we see small right the brevity of True. what God revealed that night True. but Ray just can you expand a little mm. bit more on what you're saying because yeah, you, you started as a question but then you yeah. summarize it so tell me well, what no, you're saying I want to make sure I hear I think it's really important <coughs> mm -hmm. I want to make so sure too. I hear it clearly alright it, it's that because I consider myself a visionary right you know it's you are when I think yes. about broadcasting, mm -hmm. I just don't think about the here and now. Mm -hmm. Right. I think about down the road. Right. Mm -hmm. And where we're going to be or where we could be. Mm -hmm. You know. But I have friends. I can I can think of one partner in 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 particular, and uh, we've we've been down this business road together, man. But he is definitely a visionary where he was doing things before. Right. You know, they're happening mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Right. But like ten years ago, he was right. already thinking like that. Mm -hmm. You know, but then there are the naysayers. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. so I asked the question to say, you know, stay true to what it is that you believe in, mm -hmm. or whatever your vision is, because I always, I always believe that if you can see it, it can happen. Absolutely. You know, so, so that's why I mm -hmm. say that because I hear you saying, and then you said that you didn't, you didn't believe it, but when you have God with you, man, that's believe true. it. That's true. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's like hold on to that and right. know that that that's where the strength comes from mm -hmm. man that's where all your successes are going to be right you know regardless of the naysayers because i can go through this broadcasting thing trust me there were so many people that i extended the opportunities to to say hey look we have this platform mm -hmm. blah 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 you right. know but they didn't see it they didn't understand it they said the internet Yo, oh, you just saw internet radio. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Right, oh right. my gosh, I've met so many people. But when Ray asked me, I panicked. Well, he didn't ask me. He told me you're going to have a segment. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. But Dalton is a visionary. He saw yeah. it. He was like, I see it. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't see it. But I'm not right, a visionary. Right, right, right. I'm not visual like you guys can see down the mm -hmm. road. Visionary, that's a gift to be able to see in that way. But I just want to add, Ray, to what you said. Mm -hmm. and, and the word of God supports it. When you see it, when you see it, when a visionary sees it, it has already happened. Right. It already happened in the spirit realm because God called it forth. But then we have to wait for the manifestation. And oftentimes that's where the human piece can exactly. end up blocking and perverting and yeah. aborting or delaying the vision mm -hmm. because we won't let it come forth. Right. But it that, already I'm, exists. Right. And I know that's right because mm -hmm. my pastor just preached on that recently. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is already wow. real because Hebrews, what, 11 and 1, now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not mm -hmm. seen. Right. So there's this substance that already exists, but it was something else, um, Ray, that you said that made me think about people that are listening with these businesses that oftentimes um, we talk too much. And God revealed mm -hmm. that to me over the weekend about myself because I shared something that then someone picked apart. Oh, gotcha. And it created a, a disturbance in my spirit. It created a discouragement. Mm -hmm. I was very discouraged. And God showed me a vision that night of a little black asp. And asps are small, but they're extremely, they're deadly. Mm -hmm. And so one asp fight, I think the asp, ASP, is what <laughs> killed um, what killed Romeo and Juliet. Okay. I think they allowed themselves to be bitten by an asp so they could die together. Okay. So it's very dangerous. So God showed me this little thing is so dangerous that you can't allow it. So you have to stop talking so much. And what God was saying to me is you can't share what I've revealed to you with everybody. Right. So because true. it's too mm -hmm. fragile. Mm -hmm. It's too small. And so... To what you were just saying to that defense of um, of doing it sometimes we just have to not talk about it we just right. have to do it or yeah. whoever we do talk to yeah. has to be the person that can nurture the baby Absolutely. they're going to help us feed our baby they're right. going to help water our baby they're not going to kill our baby in right. that moment and right. God showed me he was like you have to be quiet you right. have to study to be silent so yeah. when you wow. do have your vision you step towards it but you don't tell everybody where you're going wow
preach well, they sister. can't see it. Somebody said for you to preach. So let's wrap up these comments. <laughs> and we're going to wrap up on Ray. Yeah. So I'm going start, to start there. So Stephanie said, preach, Ray. Oh, we're going to pass, pass the plate. <laughs> we got Pastor Ray up, and he got his pastoral suit on today, oh, too. Oh, here you go. <laughs> so really? um, Stephanie Kegel said, yay. Serena Johnson, Nina George. She said, yes. Nina, thank you for watching. She said, yes, great Let's information. See, one Love Unity Association. Today, I truly believe what is meant for you will be yours. We must share our knowledge with others, and the fruits of your labor will come back to you. That is so true, Nina. Mm -hmm. That is a that is a biblical concept. It comes back. And oftentimes, if you don't sow it, then you can't grow either. Right. Because if you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Kegler, Michael Stewart, I have a really hard time in this department working on it. So what she was saying was, Michael said, great discussion on pricing yourself. What is your worth? If I want something that bad, how much will I pay for it? I mm -hmm. found this struggle in pricing my jewelry. And Michael's jewelry is incredible. So mm -hmm. shout out to On The Cuff. Yes, indeed. Um, his work He's is right over amazing. there on the board. Okay. And it has a message. And um, he doesn't just use, he uses beautiful beads. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's an artisan. And so you have to price it. Like out for me, anybody listening, I know we're going to have this in the workshop. But I pray about my pricing. And I will look at industry standard. Mm -hmm. But I don't set my pricing related to industry standard. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not trying to be... They, I'm trying right. to be the standard. I'm not trying to meet the standard. Right, I'm trying to right. be the standard. So I think that we shouldn't hinder ourselves also because the market can bear whatever you feel that that gift is worth. And right. somebody will pay for it. Um, so one thing I want also, Dalton said, colleagues over competition. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then Stephanie said, yes, 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 amen. Sharing is caring. We're all different. It's okay. And then Melissa, last comment, she said, amen, as unfortunate as it may be, you tend to see the business owner who forgets the importance of having a positive presence towards their customers. And Morgan Sierra, um, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And Edna said, I had to represent for my brother's event. And mm -hmm. Stephanie said about Edna, oh, my gosh, she was a queen to be. She's a queen <laughs> to <laughs> be. And Tamika Hurdle said, thank you so much for watching from all the way from the North Pole, Alaska. Yes, so indeed. I want to give a quick... Um, a shameless plug and so you pray about it but Dalton and I have talked about this um, topic for creatives for a long time but about creatives and how they should handle business how a lot of creatives don't understand business right, and they right. don't handle business they right. just want to do their art right, absolutely. and they're starving artists mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be that way so we have talked about a workshop on that to help oh, creatives wow. understand the importance of handling business pricing and being okay. about business and if you can't handle it, then you've got to have somebody to help you in True. your business. True. So any final comments? Um, one quick comment, actually. Okay. Uh, my The flyer for my event uh, and the step and repeat for my event mm -hmm. was designed by the amazing Jennifer Gaskins of J. Gaskin Designs. Did she do the candy um, bar? No, no. Actually, okay. the, the candy bar, the, the treat, the camera treat was done by uh, 823 Treats out of Charlotte. August 23rd treats and events okay. um, and I'll be using them again next week next year because they were amazing so guys they made a white chocolate camera a white chocolate camera with Keith's logo with the K in the camera and it was in a beautiful package it looked like something you would buy in an upscale candy store and when I tell you <laughs> it was delicious and even the logo was edible I hurt myself with that camera. <laughs> God bless you guys <laughs> so extra shout outs to you <laughs> Okay, what else? Anybody, any other shout outs? Any uh, other final comments? Shout outs to everybody. I, I just okay. I don't want to miss anybody. Definitely Stephanie, of course, um, my right hand person, mm -hmm. uh, Serena, my church, my family, my friends, everybody. But you can uh, put them in the comments. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely put everybody that. in the comments. So Keith, thank you so much for coming today. Thank we you just for having appreciate me. Thank you. you. For um, please know that you're welcome back anytime. So when you do begin to plan this um, business piece, this business seminar. Um, please come back Absolutely. and let's talk about Absolutely. it. And when you begin to plan your 2019 event, I'm still here. Please, and I'm sure Ray will say the same. Come back and let's talk about Absolutely. it. So Absolutely. So we appreciate you very much. Thank you so and, much. And um, so we always have a word. I ask people to share a word that they're taking away. So what word um, is coming um, up for you today? One of the things, and actually this didn't come from the talk. It actually came from our talk pre-show. Okay. Um, just how important it is uh, to pull yourself away from what it is you do as a profession you know if you if you're grinding on that photography you know that in that photography business or you're in stephanie's case that fitness you know guru or guru or instructor or you're a teacher or a policeman or whatever it is you do ray being on the radio um i think it's so important to remove yourself and 
you know, uh, that self-care that we were talking about. It's so important to take yourself away from that because we seem to be in this day and age where we compete for who works the hardest. Right. Mm. And and I don't think that's even necessary right. because you, you, you have to be able to enjoy it at some point. Right. You know, so if we're if we're talking like you and I were joking in the hall about if I told you, oh, wow, I only got three hours of sleep last night. And then you come back and say, well, I only got two and a half. Yeah, like it's <laughs> some ridiculous right. competition. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I, th- I just think that we need to to really promote the importance of self-care and that's definitely going to be a large part of this uh business mm-hmm. uh seminar yeah mm-hmm. Ray, what's your word my word of the day let's see encouragement uh, that's my word it's 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 always a beautiful thing when we have uh, guests that come on wow. and <laughs> you know on. they can share <laughs> uh mm-hmm. their story mm-hmm. or their their journey and it's a beautiful thing because it helps to encourage us absolutely to be better than yesterday's work you know and i always feel that you're only as good as your your last show as it relates to um, broadcasting so yeah today's show is going to come it's going to go but then lord willing there'll be tomorrow's show and we strive to be better you know at that show so you know just thanks for being on keith and 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 encouraging us to be our best selves man yeah. and no it's, it's definitely a beautiful thing and, and you you talked a little bit about being surrounded by the right energy yes that is oh so important and that's why a lot of times you'll see certain people their circles are really small right because you don't need to have a big circle right. because all Absolutely. the energy is not the same and i mm-hmm. i know i'm a kind of person that it depends on the energy if the energy is not right guess what i'm not going to be there mm-hmm. right i don't have to be there i don't have to be at that event or this event or anything like that you know so it's surround yourself with the right people man and uh, make sure that your walk is is the the right walk that you are walking that is actually um, selected for you because God definitely has that ultimate vision for what your life is purposed to do and you just have to be open yes you know for that that direction that he's giving you you know so so thanks man it was very 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 encouraging today to hear hear from you and for you to share all that stuff and sharing your artistry as well too man thank you so much and and continue to be humble brother I appreciate it definitely so amen I love that you are. And next so time, come yeah. come in your suit, brother, so we can <laughs> suit shimmy together. <laughs> yes. Matter of fact, look, I'm I'm ready. I'm gonna go buy a suit just for that appearance. <laughs> That's <So> hilarious. <laughs> but it is. I I just love hearing your story because some things I didn't know about you. I didn't know you were in the military. I didn't know you had a job. <laughs> uh-huh. No I'm job. just kidding. I Keep thought you were a full-time <laughs> entrepreneur, but you will be in Jesus' name if that's your thank desire. You, thank you, thank but I, I was so inspired, um, just encouraged by just stepping out and living your dreams, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm, know, and shout yeah. out to your sister because Absolute. she was a oh huge part goodness. of this. So, oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, so what is your sister's name? Yeah, Kim Sykes, out, Kim. Um, and, and you guys can check out her website, KimSykes.com. She's a actress, model, uh, work, she works with uh, the prevention of uh, trafficking, mm-hmm. human trafficking. Yeah. Uh, in New York, she lives in Manhattan, uh, and she's a painter. Uh, matter of fact, her and I are gonna try to. I don't know if it's gonna happen because my sister is one of the busiest people on the planet. Self care. Kim, Kim, we need you to work on that. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try to put together a brother and sister exhibit. Oh my okay. Gosh, but it's gonna be so in New York. Awesome. It's gonna okay. be in New York. Um, gonna be in so S&S. it'll be her. Yeah. Her her and her paintings and my photographer. Nice. Um, Sykes and Sykes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Sounds like a, a law firm. So back to you. <laughs> Back to you. Okay. <laughs> it's all about me, guys. Hold it's about me. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what I was trying to say was, uh-huh. but no, I was really encouraged just by your journey because it just says that, again, you started with your phone. And now mm-hmm. I know that Dalton and I talk about this, like he's like, you know, he's a was a photographer and I would say now with film, but we just talked about that, how you just start where you are Mm -hmm. just start where you are and so i definitely want to just encourage everyone listening that is just doing their gift they're following their passion no matter what stage you may be in that just know that we're super proud of you and that if you just be consistent absolutely you just stay on the task stay focused and keep just going in that direction of your dream you're going to get there and you will be successful so my word for today is alignment that if you will align yourself with the right people, if you will align yourself with God and the vision that he's <coughs> given you, if you'll align with yourself and give yourself permission to go in the direction of the vision in your ear. And if you want to find out more about me, you can reach me at www.drpatricecarter.com. I am the founder of the Breakpoint Coaching Collective, which is a 12-week 
Christian Life Coaching Program where I certify, equip, and train Christian Life Coaches. I also um, accept um, private coaching clients on a very limited basis, but my focus is executives and celebrities. So definitely if you're looking for um, someone that can help you go in the direction that God has called you to, please reach out to me and check out my book, Superb Woman from Bad Girl to God's Girl. So just last shout outs, um, Jennifer Gaskin says um, that she appreciates you guys very much. Richard Jr. Gray, thank you for watching. He said, yes, sir, good message. My Cambridge home. And um, Edna with a shameless plug, I can plan an event in New York, New York too. New York, too. <laughs> 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 I know, that's right. <laughs> so we love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Love you, Edna. Okay, love yes, you indeed. guys. And now I can get back to the job. Okay, so we're going to celebrate birthdays <laughs> right now. Um, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's get that birthday thing up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the afternoon where we celebrate the things that we call birthdays because we say birthdays are the first days. Uh, I guess I have to hit the note myself. I started to add, but I wasn't sure. That's oh. like this, Irish. <laughs> you know, I got an Eddie Kendrick over the weekend. Somebody called me Eddie Kendrick. It's all good though. Nights like this, I wish. The Temptations. Okay, thank you. Or David Ruffin. Play scratch, scratch. David Ruffin. I know who David Ruffin is. Okay. Turn on my microphone over here. Moving right along. All right, my celebrity friends that are celebrating birthdays on today. There you go, being yourself. That's right. Lexi Hassapis. Lexi, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy Lex. Birthday. I loved your unicorn um, headgear that you had on your birthday picture on Facebook. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Also, Gregory Farmer. Gregory Farmer, happy 50th, yes. brother. It's your jubilee Welcome year. Welcome to the club, man. Yes. Definitely I'm so. I'm almost there. A few more months. Also, uh, Chaz L. Sampson is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday, happy Chaz. Happy birthday, Chaz. Happy birthday. Also, uh, Derek D. Screen is 36 years young. Happy birthday happy to you. Happy birthday. Joanne Diaz Martinez is celebrating Joanne, a birthday. Joanne, happy birthday. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh Love you. Gosh, she's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> CEO Vop is 36 years young today. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday. to you. Birthday. Also, um, uh, yes, the first lady. I like to call her the first lady. Miss Becky White. Uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis White's mom. You know Dennis White? He was in the uh, the Biggie Smalls movie. No, but happy birthday, Becky. Okay. And shout out yeah, to you, Dennis. She's a, she's a <laughs> very uh, talented uh, vocalist and vocal wow. coach. Yes, indeed. So happy birthday to you, uh, Miss White. Birthday, 89 Becky. years young today. Wow. That's well, awesome. That's what it says on page. So. Praise I know mean, you ain't 89, Becky. That's Come on, lesson. girl. I know you're 25, girl. <laughs> Still got it, Becky. <laughs> right across the hall here at uh, Fable State University, Miss Valerie Woodard is celebrating oh, her 57th. Happy, happy birthday, Val, over there at the radio reading service. Also, uh, my Cambridge homie, Rosemarie Leonce Green, is celebrating her birthday today. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Also, Tendaji Yazid Wal Falmi. Yes, wow. indeed. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. 28 years young today. And BJ Henry is celebrating her birthday today. So. BJ, happy birthday. Yes, BJ. You remember BJ and the Bear? They call me <laughs> BJ. This is my best friend, I Bear. Don't. You don't remember? <laughs> I have idea. BJ and the Bear? I don't. No. The Bear was a monkey. He was a truck driver. He was on TV. That's very disturbing. Greg Evigans. I don't. Was I the actor I got that nothing. played him? I got nothing. I'm BJ McCain. He's <laughs> my best friend, Bear. Slime, Keith, slime you don't coming. remember that, Keith? Man? I, I don't oh, think yeah. I remember. You both young. I was going to say, okay, you kind of long in the tooth. That might be like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say long in the tooth? Oh, no. Like the saber tooth that he was doing. <laughs> No, look, no and, shade. And, and let me tell you, I, I'm, even, I'm not even gonna let the comment slip by. He just said you're kind of young. H how old do you think I am? Well, when you said <laughs> something earlier, I was like, I was gonna say you look 12. Uh, no, I, <laughs> don't was just saying, I was saying don't get Steph to start because Steph says you really too. like a baby. I was just saying, you know, because you know, and I didn't know who you were talking about. But exactly, so you must be young. I man. know you've got gray in your beard, so I'm gonna say. And that don't mean nothing because I, I had a friend named Christopher in high school. He was 16 years old and honestly, had gray and had gray. You I honestly look believe. 25, and I'm gonna give you 40, mid 40s. 49. Okay, I'm hey, 49. Still a young buck. Yeah, hey, young buck. No, you're talking longer like he's <laughs> yeah. talking like he's 71. I know you're talking like he's 71 years old. I'm 51 old. Yeah. over here. Well, 51. I'm 51. Well, you're doing 51 really I'm 51. well. Stephanie Kegler said 12. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you do. You look 12. <laughs> That's what I'm That's saying. Hilarious. I'm like, yeah, he's a young buck. That is hilarious. <laughs> he's a young buck, man. That's the importance of self care. That's right. That's is. what I'm talking about. It so is. continue to uh, be that young buck, man. So, All that's, so look, Dalton, <laughs> is, <laughs> Dalton is 45, <laughs> and our pastor friend was like, "Girl, you done robbed a cradle." Right. I was like, <laughs> "Milk, milk, milk." <laughs> <laughs> I'll be home to fix your milk, Dalton. Just hold on, buddy. <laughs> yep. Speaking about latching. 
Oh my God! Right. Right. <laughs> so Ray and I saw each other at this event right on Saturday, and, yes. um, and so shout out breakfast. to Stacy Simpluque yes. who had the granola breakfast in honor of the Lone Survivor Foundation. Yes, so definitely. shout out to you, Madison. It was great meeting you. Yes. And she raised three hundred dollars. Oh, congratulations! So precious. She yes. presented them with a three hundred dollar donation. Mm-hmm. Had a beautiful breakfast yep. uh, buffet. I missed it. I was supposed to be there. Oh my gosh! It was delicious. <laughs> Not that I ate it. I ate on your behalf. We, <laughs> I drooled on your behalf. No. <laughs> but what had happened was, was I went there with my friend Angela Tatum Malloy. Shout out to Angela, who is a lactation consultant. In fact, the only African American lactation consultant in oh, wow. North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And so Angie um, has been on the show. That's right. And so Ray shared with them that they could do latching. Live latching. Like breastfeeding oh, wow. on the show. And so then he took it back that day. And she said, so you were joking? He said, oh, yeah, you're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not having that on Bronco I Radio. I said the SEC would shut you right, all exactly. the way down. And, it would, and there would be a latch investigation. <laughs> that was for entertainment purposes only, Angela. <laughs> exactly. like so, oh, but wow. shout out to her because breastfeeding is huge. And mm-hmm. so that's something that she's trying to get out to the community about the importance of that, of health of that. But that's where the whole latch. Yeah. Joke came from. Yeah. He was like, there won't They'll be, be any latching, latching or Thursday. lactation on the show. <laughs> <laughs> off camera, though. <laughs> exactly. Not on camera. I'm just saying. You mm. can feed all the babies you want off camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all that extra noise. Oh, in the- you're an <laughs> idiot. Let's <laughs> wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a good latch the right bloopers. there. That's a good latch. We're going to the blooper set. <laughs> Keith, thank you again. Ray, thank, thank you, you thank again. You oh, thank man. you all for having me. You're thank welcome. You for having she me. just really want to be the director of this show, no, don't you? No, I don't. I want to get off of latching. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just brought it up. To... You just brought it up Stop again. It. <laughs> <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> And if today's your birthday, may today be the best day of your life and many more to come. And happy birthday from all of us here at the RTVS Live. Here comes the birthday song from Cynthia Jones. You know the lyrics. Sing along. Woo. Happy Happy birthday birthday to to you. Even if you're a latcher, (laughs) no no one one else else deserves it more. more. Than you do. do. She said Keith gets a lot of sleep because he doesn't have a job. Today, and today is your day. day. <laughs> and, and I want to say they'll be latching on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> right, that's going to do it. <laughs> I'm Dr. Patrice Carter. <laughs> Thank you. Also, and I'm Keith Sykes. Yes, indeed. And Yours truly, the heavyweight Ray Thomas in your face is not my place, just in your ear and on your radio. You see it behind me. It's BroncoIRadio.com. We emanate from historic Fayetteville State University where we're celebrating our sesquicentennial anniversary, 150 years of academic excellence. Make sure you tell the ones that you love that you love them while you still got them around because tomorrow is promised to no one as usual. Howard Hewitt, say amen, takes us home. Listen to the lyrics of something I live by. Kiaka Hana Kiaka means I'm always thinking about you. Until then, we say peace. The bean, the bridge, the bay. It's a bean. Don't get it twisted. Bye-bye, everybody. (laughs) Be blessed. (laughs) Say bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Love you.